you took over the program, when you first came in, when you looked at that team, how close do you feel like it really was to being a team that can compete to win the East this year? Well, you know, that, that's that's one of those things. I know this. Those guys that, that coach there did a heck of a job and worked their tails off, and and uh, sometimes things just you know didn't didn't work. And now, you know, our deal is is, is we've got to build on those positives. So, you know, for us, it's about you know implementing uh, you know some of the beliefs that we have, some of the things as far as helping us be successful, and and. Uh, you know, the guys have really adapted to it. I'm, I'm really proud of the way they've attacked uh, what we've asked them to do. Yeah, when you look at his history, I mean, this is a guy who spent most of his career out in the, the western United States and Montana. And really, he didn't he didn't get a breakthrough to the big time in college football until four years at Alabama and won two national titles there. Had a lot of success and obviously took a lot of notes under Nick Saban. You know, one of the things offensively, obviously, is to create explosive plays. You make explosive plays, you score points, and that's what all coaches talk about. Just that's what we game. On the good side, offensively, Demarcus Robinson uh, blossomed last year's receiver. He had over 800 yards, uh, seven touchdowns. He really came on that we saw the kind of player that we thought we were going to see. They've come back with great defense. Hargraves is a fabulous player on that side of the ball, amongst a slew of others. I say the leader is running hard grades because um, he's he leads by example and he's really like a coach out there too. And the second day we we uh, I said we're the best in the country and we're gonna show people this year why we are. Each particular part of the defense depends on the other part. Like if we can't make a play if the defensive line doesn't get pressure, and the linebackers can't make a tackle if the defensive line doesn't take the double on. You know, it's just like the whole defense as a core is a strength in my opinion. They feel good about one guy already here in Jonathan Bullard. He's evolved slowly, but you look at him, he should have a breakout season this year. They're expecting more out of him, and really the defensive line as a whole. Go! Gain the five! Receiver, receiver, receiver! You know, if we just think we've arrived, there's somebody else doing something to beat you every single day. And so it's always constantly evaluating whatever it is that, that you're doing and trying to build for the future. That's something we're doing right now, and I'm excited to be part of it.